In late 2020, the Maltese government has revisited its citizenship legislation and the newly set up agency called Community Malta launched a new residency route which can lead to citizenship in Malta. The new program, Maltese Citizenship by Naturalization for Exceptional Services by Direct Investment, provide foreign individuals and their families who contribute to the economic development of Malta a route to becoming citizens of Malta. Under the new regulations, applicants can opt for residence in Malta, leading to citizenship choosing between two options. Option 1 allows the applicant to obtain Maltese citizenship after three years of residence in Malta, or option 2 allows the applicant to obtain Maltese citizenship after one year of residence in Malta. To be able to apply for the Maltese citizenship by naturalization for exceptional services by direct investment, an applicant needs to make a direct investment to the Maltese economy, make a donation and hold a residential property. First, let's look at the investment requirements for the three-year option. Firstly, the main applicant is required to make a direct investment of 600,000 euros and an additional 50,000 per dependent included in the application. It is also necessary to make a philanthropic donation of 10,000 euros to a cultural, sport, scientific, animal welfare or artistic non-governmental organization or society. And lastly, a property investment, which could either be purchasing a property to the value of at least 700,000 euros or rent a residential property with an annual minimum rent of 16,000 euros. The applicant must retain the property for at least five years from the date of issue of citizenship. Now for the investment requirements for the one-year option. Firstly, the main applicant is required to make an exceptional direct investment of 750,000 euros and an additional 50,000 euros per dependent included in the application. Secondly, a philanthropic donation of 10,000 euros to a registered cultural, sport, scientific, animal welfare or artistic non-governmental organization or society is required. And lastly, a property investment, which could either be purchasing a property to the value of 700,000 euros or rent a residential property with an annual minimum rent of 16,000 euros. The applicant must retain the property for at least five years from the date of issue of citizenship. It is important to note that an annual quota has been set of 400 applicants per year, with a total number of applicants set at 1,500 for the entire scheme. If you'd like to know more about Malta and the benefits this program offers, please get in touch with any one of us at DCOT Malta.